I did a previous job and I was left with some epoxy. Any epoxy that I have left, I try to do some kind of sample board and obviously I'm filming it so that if I end up liking the finish, I can now incorporate that into my sample board collection. So this is how I get a lot of, um, of really cool finishes. Now, in saying that, I've never done this one before with these colors or with mica powder because I did it in my last project, uh, mica flakes, I've got mica flakes left over. So I'm not real sure how this is gonna turn out, but um, you never know until you try. So I've got a uh, board here I've paint and primed. I always keep some sample boards um, just are sitting around because I'm, for this exact reason. So this board, it's MDF, half inch, rounded over with a quarter inch router. Also on the bottom side, I've routered it uh, so that when the epoxy flows over, it, it actually folds, fl flows under and the drips are not right on the edge. So we get a cleaner edge. Uh, I've primed it and painted it with bare paint and primer all in one. And I believe this is natural gray. I believe that's the color. In fact, I know that's the color. It's the natural gray. And I use this color as a base a lot because it's a neutral color and it doesn't really pop out and interfere with whatever finish I'm doing. So that's gonna be our start. I'd, like I said, I just grabbed this board. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out, but we're fixing to see. I'm gonna kinda eyeball it. I have quite a bit left, so just gonna kinda eyeball what I think I'm gonna need. All right, so. Here it is. Now you can use a trial. Um, the trials I use are 1 8 by 1 8 square inch notch trial. And um, you can spread that out with that. But it's such a small board, I'm not gonna get one of my trials dirty. I'm gonna actually use my hands, and I use my hands a lot. So I'm just gonna kinda bring this out. And I really want to make sure that I dress my edges, that I get epoxy on the edge. All right, when you're working with the epoxy so that you don't have any um, areas where the epoxy doesn't want to flow where you have surface tension, you really want to make sure that you have epoxy all over your board. All right, so I'm kind of thinking what I want to attempt with these colors. And I kind of want to do something where I get some cells. So I don't know how this is going to work, but I'm going to put a base color. Since I'm using copper mica flakes, I'm going to lay down a base coat of copper. There is no rhyme to reason of this. See this? I literally just sprayed copper paint on there. I think I'm going to add a little bit. I love the color of warm caramel. I love it next to the um, seaside. And I have aqua. Actually, I'm going to grab one more of the color too. But right now, I'm going to add this warm caramel. I just added that literally right on top of my copper. And I'm gonna grab one more color. This is my all time favorite blue turquoise -y color to go to, and it's Rust Oleum Lagoon. Love this color. We'll use it a lot. So I'm gonna come over with just that, and then I'm gonna hit it with Seaside. And we're gonna just see what we get. I'm gonna do kind of a swipe technique where I'm literally just bringing the colors out on top of each other. Okay, no idea how this is gonna turn out, but I really like negative space 
in this piece. And what I'm calling negative space is where I have just some clear epoxy. Now you're going to start seeing some reactions here with some cells developing. Mm, that's kind of cool. I think I'm going to add a little bit more of the blue. I added that to my hand. And I'm going to bring it over the top. Okay. Now I'm going to come back over with the warm caramel. And I really love warm caramel next to turquoise. Alright, this is looking kind of cool. Alright, not real happy with the hammered copper the effect it's given. It's, it's kind of sitting on top of my epoxy. It's not really wanting to play well with others, but that's okay. So now I want to think I want to bring, oh my gosh, it's having fun together. These are having fun. They're playing well together. I'm going to add a little bit of the seaside. Now I'm going to clean my hand because I'm starting to get a little muddly on my hand. So I don't want to introduce any more of that mud color. I really want to just add some lightness into it. So I'm just kind of playing with where I want these colors. Maybe up here a little bit. Like I said, I don't I don't want a whole lot. Just want a little bit of color in here. I'm starting to get some reaction here. I'm just going to heat it up a little bit. A lot of times when you add heat, yeah, see, now you're starting to see some cells developing. And now I want to get a little bit of movement. So because I've heated up my epoxy, I'm going to get a little bit of movement. Makes it look a little more natural. Okay. So now I kind of sit back and say, what do I want to do at this point? And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little more of the caramel. And I'm going to add it right here. Just to make it a little more distinct here. All right, now I'm going to also try something a little different. And now I'm putting mica powder with alcohol on my hand. And I'm going to run that through. Looking at some of the reactions it's doing right here. Okay, I'm going to set my spray to a pretty fine mist. Not liking this corner right here. So I'm going to add a little bit of, oh wow, isn't that pretty? I really like how I ran it through. I think I'm going to hit it. This is my problem. I never know when to stop. 
So I'm thinking where I need a little bit more interest. I think I'm going to hit it right here in this corner. Okay. So with a little bit of leftover epoxy that was going to be thrown away anyway, I've actually come in here and made a pretty cool little finish. Now I'm only heating up one edge of this because I'm going to do a tilt and I only want that one part to run. See how that one part where I, where I heated it, that really is running a lot faster than anything else. Okay, so that's kind of a neat little finish here. And we'll see what it looks like after it, it stops moving. Actually, you know what? Okay, I'm going to add one more thing. Mike's watched all over the world, Mike Quest with Stone Coat Countertop. He always wants you to add white and black. So I'm going to add me just a little bit of white on here. And I'm going to be pretty artistic where I put it, meaning I'm not just going to spray it. I'm kind of looking where I want it. This is where kind of some creativity can kind of come in. Ooh, look at that, isn't that pretty? All right, and you can kind of see that. Now I'm going to hit that with a little bit of alcohol and look at the lacing that it causes. It causes some really cool lacing. I'm going to hit it right here too. There. Yeah, look at that. That's way cool. I like that. I have a little bit of surface tension right here, so I'm going to hit that. All right. Okay, so that's kind of a cool little finish right here that we did in a matter of just a couple of minutes with leftover epoxy and a few cans of spray paint. Kind of cool. Quick way to do a fun either art project. I could either say, okay, this will be a great little piece to hang on the wall, or I could actually, I could see this being a countertop maybe on an island in a kitchen bringing in some turquoise and some coppers, a little bit of the mica flake. So yeah, I think it turned out cool. All right, thanks for watching.